You're the hero of San Cristobal. We have heard much about you. Please, you must help us. An evil lurks in our town that puts that weeping woman to shame. Come, I will explain. This is my daughter. She has been charmed by El Sombreron, a vile demon. He travels in a cart pulled by mules, seeking young, vulnerable women. He is short and always wears a wide-brimmed hat. He serenades these girls with his silver guitar, entrancing them until they allow him to braid their hair. Then they belong to him. Now he sang to Miha. Since then, she is not herself. All she does is talk about him. She'll be unable to resist him when he returns. I don't want to lose her. I believe you can stop him, just like you stopped that weeping woman. Ha! It would take more than a silver guitar to bewitch me, that is certain. He's coming soon. If I sit near the railing and drape my hair over the balcony, then he'll braid it. Isn't that romantic? You should start your search at the boarding school. His previous victim is recovering there now. Please, that water is sacred. You cannot just let it go down the drain. If you need to use the piscina, please put every last drop back in the bottle.
Strolling at this late hour. You can't stop me. She belongs to me. You were sent to track down El Sombraron? I wish it were that easy. I fear you are in for an impossible task. I am the matron of this school. We do what we can for those who are not too far gone. Even now, the dastardly creature's last victim lies upstairs, completely unresponsive. Perhaps one day she'll awaken. Then we can ask her about him. Until then, life must go on. I had my activity board all finished, but someone stole some of the letters and messed up the order. Could you help me fix it?
Thank you. I suppose I could let you search our school, especially if you think it may help you catch El Sombreron.
Thanks. I'm feeling better, but I'm so tired. Thank you. He was in my dreams, too. I... I couldn't wake up. He's got a hideout. He promised to take me there, but the matron stopped me. Thank goodness. He gave me the silver crescent. It's the key to his sanctum. I'm pretty sure it's the old silver mine near the village. Here, I want you to have it. If you see El Sombreron, show no mercy, for he will have none for you. He's coming tonight. You must lay a trap for him. Wait, what if we fashioned a dummy with hair he can braid? That could distract him enough so we can catch him. We must also prevent him from escaping on his muse. 
and we'll need to find a way to mimic Miha's voice. She won't help us. as a gift. How did you get it? Why can't you just leave me alone? You're ruining everything. She stormed off into her room. She should be safe for now. that do-gooder trying to track down El Sombreron, huh? <laughs> you can't stop El Sombreron. I'm not saying I gave him my mules, but if he asked, I don't see how I could refuse. 
What do I care what happens to those teenagers who harass my poor mules? If you want to do some real good around here, find me something to scrub these bridles down. This sponge is falling apart. Look how useful you can be when you're not chasing shadows. You can have this. It's useless to me now. Now to create a dummy maiden, 
It should be dark enough that he won't see clearly, but he will still need to look like her hair, her head, and her body. El Sombrerón will not be fooled without my daughter's voice. Our voices are similar, but mine is deeper. If only there was a way to raise the pitch of my voice. That's everything. Now we wait. El Sombrerón, is that you? I knew you would return for me. Quick. Sneak down there and capture him. No, stop. You? How could you? You don't understand. I never hurt them. Can't you see? I helped them. I gathered those who were easily misled and I taught them. I taught them to be strong. It was the only way. Oh, I disagree, Matron. The authorities will side with me and my friend here. But who will run the school? Who will protect the children? With you gone, they will have nothing more to fear. We can never thank you enough for saving us from that misguided woman. I may lack her teaching experience, but my heart is in the right place. Buenos dias, matron. We will rebuild our community without resorting to such extreme measures, and we will never forget what you have done for us. Thank you. 